Hello boys and girls, welcome to our annual Vacation Bible School here at St. Peter AME Zion Church in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I am Robin Lavender and I'm going to be teaching you guys today. We're going to have fun and our theme is I've got it. Say that with me, I've got it. And we got it how with Jesus. So let's get into our lesson. We have a good starting out lesson today because today we're going to be talking about faith. Faith, okay? Tell me what you think faith is. What do you think faith? Have you ever had to use faith in any instance? Well, first of all, we should know what faith is. Now, I looked up a few definitions of faith, okay? And faith simply means believing that something is true. Believing that something is true and then committing our lives to it. Now, I kind of like what um, someone else had to say. They said that faith is not, is being able, not being able to see, but trusting the one who can. Faith is not being able to see, but trust the one who can. And that can be some challenge for us. And then I looked in the Bible, and the Bible says that faith means believing in God and in what Christ has done for us to make our salvation possible and then committing ourselves to him. In other words, faith has two parts. Both are equally important. Both are equally important. You got two parts. One is believing, okay? And then the other one is committing, all right? Um, and did you know that it is impossible to please God without having faith? You must have faith. It takes faith to do a great work. I just want to give you a small illustration of what faith could mean to us okay so Reva is going to walk me through something and uh, and I'm gonna be blindfolded so let's just do this right quick I have some hot tea here and Reva's gonna walk me back to the desk okay all right so miss Robin go ahead and put your blindfold on Okay. All right, and what I want you to do is just take a few steps forward. Continue walking forward. Continue walking forward. All right, now wow, take a this left. Is scary. I... You, you got it. You're doing really good. Take a left. All right, keep going. One. All right, stop there. And if you would, take your left hand, and you're going to grab your teacup to the left. Just kind of reach down forward until you feel the handle of the mug. There you go. Continue on. All right, and maybe one or two more steps. Now take your right hand and grab for the back of the chair. There you go, you got it. All right, so now you can take your seat. All right, there you go. Take it easy. All right, and now you can take your mask off. Good job. And this is what it looks like to walk in faith. Wow, that can be scary, guys. That can be scary. Because when you're walking and you're not sure exactly which way you're going to be going, and you have, but you're having to listen to someone, and to that someone, and hopefully it's someone that is leading you in the right direction. Okay? All right. So now I'm going to, uh, we have our background scripture, which comes from Joshua, the second chapter, verses 1 through 9, and then the 12th verse 14 and 15 verses okay so today guys we're going to be talking about someone named Rahab Rahab in the Bible was this prostitute right okay and I'm I'm, I'm making a point with that okay uh, Joshua was had sent out two spies to go and check out the land that God had promised them. And these two spies 
ended up at Rahab's house, okay? So Rahab, they even ate there. Uh, and uh, so somehow Rahab, she already knew about how God had delivered God, uh, the Israelites, okay? So she had heard about all the wonderful things and she knew about uh, the Israelites and she was actually afraid for her life and her family's life. Uh, so she, uh, she opened her doors to the spies, but then the king from Jericho found out that the two spies had been there. So he sent somebody, but when those guys got there, Rahab said, well, they've been here, but they've already gone. So you might need to go on so you can try to catch up with them. However, Rahab had those guys, the two spies hid in her home, okay? But she pleaded with the two spies that if they would spare her and her family's life, okay? She wanted them to promise her that. Okay, so the bottom line is they did just what they did just that. So Rahab and her family, their lives were spared. Um, and the two spies was still able to stay there. Okay? All right. And even though Rahab may have been a prostitute, but guess what? God can use whoever he chooses. All right? God can use whoever he chooses. Now, guys, that brings me to our story lesson. Okay? And this is a good lesson. All right? And it, it's called Hiding friend or foe. Do you know what foe is? Foe is just an enemy. Hiding friend or foe. Okay, and this story is about a girl named Latasha and her friend Sean. Okay, Sean and a couple of his homies, they stole a video game from Mr. Jones' store. So we already know that they shouldn't have been stealing, right? So in fear, they ran because Mr. Jones called the cops on them. Mr. Jones saw them, okay? All right, Sean, well, Latasha was at home, and she heard somebody bamming on the door, okay? And it was her friend, Sean. And out of fear, Sean was asking and pleading uh, to Latasha to please let him come in to the house. He, was, he went near to hide there for a couple of hours. Okay, now that's got to be, that's got to be an awkward position for her to say, now, should I let him in? At first, she didn't know why he was running, but when she found out, that was even worse. Okay, and so, um, and LaShawn had done a few things for Latasha as well. Mind you now, they were friends, okay, but... Here's what I like. Um, Latasha, Latasha said, now, my mom told me don't let nobody in the house when she is gone. So I have to do what my mom says because my mom has faith in me and I don't want to disappoint her. So Sean kept pleading with and, and, and reminding her of the things that he had done for her and how he had helped her out. But mind you, this was something that was not right. So um, anyway, Latasha said, no, I'm sorry, I cannot do that. So we already know uh, by then you can hear the, uh, the, the sirens from the cops. So anyway, but the... Uh, the thing is, Latasha did not let him in. So, sometimes I know that we're in positions where, um, you know, friends or so-called friends will put us, try to make it seem like, okay, if you're my friend, you will do this. But she was, even though it was, it put her in an awkward position, but she stood her ground and she did not uh, do the wrong thing by opening her doors. Now, the, the funny thing is, uh, Rahab opened her doors, but she had already heard about the good things that these spies 
uh, about their families and about how God had been with them. She knew God had been with them, whereas in Latasha's and Sean's case, Sean had done wrong. So we have to be mindful. Uh, and when we're walking by faith, you know, we're to always see God and ask God, you know, what we're to do and stand on it no matter what a person try to talk you into. And that leads me to our little exercise. This is what I want you guys to do for me, okay? All right, so when you come back, I want you to be able to tell us how that turned out. Our exercise is I want you to look for ways to show faith for your family members without saying a word. Okay, and one way you can do that is by praying for someone who you know needs an answer from God. Thank you, class. Talk to you later.